Hi everyone and welcome back to the Board Game Spotlight. I'm Lizzie. I'm Jerry. And today we are playing fairies and magical creatures from Forbidden Games. Give me the back. Let me show it off. It is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Annie uh, Stag Gerard, her mm -hmm. watercolors, oil. Or her oil paintings yes. are not digital. So she does all this by hand yes. and then it is digitally layered on the game. It's stunning. Her paintings are just gorgeous. She's got an Instagram page you can follow and see what she paints. I mean, and I mean, he's done this for he did this for Raccoon Tycoon, I believe. Lizard Wizard as well, I believe. Yeah, so he he's worked with her several times, and her art is always just it's absolutely gorgeous. I beautiful, love it so much. stunning. And because of that, so we've got our little card cam mm -hmm. off to the side. I want to I'm going to be showing off the cards as we draft them because I want you to be able to see the aesthetic and the art in this game. Mm -hmm. Is I mean, in my opinion, it is a big selling point to the game because it is just a gorgeous looking game and on top of that you have a really interesting and fun game accompanying it so when you mm -hmm. have good art with great uh good art with great game put that together and you have a great package all around right yes. so this is a uh, lighter family weight game yep um so they have forbidden games has a lot of games that are family some are heavier weight like uh the what's mosaic. the one? mosaic was their heavier one this is a Going back to the beginning, what they found it on those really fun, simple, easy to pick up family weight games. Yeah, and um, a lot of people I feel like forget about uh, Railroad Tycoon. Uh, I think it's called or Railroad Barons. I can't remember. It's a <laughs> I've forgotten about go. it. No, but like there's a game that also is in that like light, uh, lightish mm -hmm. uh, market economy stock options mm -hmm. with trains and stuff. And I forget about that a lot of time. But that was one game that, that they've done. Like first, that was yeah. the first. Yeah. So like. Um, they've just, Glenn has done an amazing job with creating these entry level games with uh, good decisions, fun gameplay, and uh, this is no different. So, uh, Glenn, hats off to you for, for such a, a great job with all the games that you've, uh, you've been creating. So, let's dive talk in. about the game. So, there are five actions in the game. We have Game Trust, which is placing one of your little cubes in one area, so there's some area control there. Um, we can build a garden, so there are these tiles, so they are garden, or in the back is a path. You're gonna place those in your board. Um, garden can go anywhere. Path, the first one has to touch the edge, and then all other paths have to touch the first one, so you're creating, obviously, like a path. You can't have two paths going at the same time. Um, and we'll talk about why that's all important yes. later scoring. as we play the game and during scoring. Uh, befriending a fairy, so that's gonna gain a new card, so there's three out here. Um, whoever chooses that action would draw one, next person would draw one, and then the third would be discarded, and then you're going to put three new ones out there. I want to talk about something real quick that you just talked about. So in this game, it has follow action. So mm -hmm. every turn, everybody's getting to do the same action that the mm -hmm. first player chose. So everybody is always doing something, yes. which helps with the game keep people interested and engaged. There's no downtime. There's no downtime at all. But the reason why you, the benefit you get for being the person to pick a card or to pick an action is that you get to play a card from your hand. Mm -hmm. And that's why the befriending uh, a fairy or these fake creatures is important is because this is a deck building game as well. Mm -hmm. So you're going to build a deck of cards to then have the opportunity to play them later for actions or abilities. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when you are the person that takes the action, you also get to go first. So you're gonna have the first choice out of also what's, else, what's awesome. out there. Um, helping hand, that's playing a card from your hand. So if you do this, you would get to play two cards because you get to play the card for your action, and then you have the follow action of also playing a second card. And then you have um, Call Fairies, and that is refilling your hand up to five. So you could do that when you have no cards in your hand, or you could do it when you have three and you just yeah, you feel just like you need more kids. options. Yeah. Um, so that's drawing cards. Coming back to the helping hand, I want to talk about playing cards, because all the cards are going to have an action associated mm -hmm. to them, or an ability. So you'll see here, when you play a card, it's going to let you do something whether it's gaining victory points or getting a card into your hand, or like Lizzie talked about the kinship, this is an area majority portion of the game. Tokens. Uh, with your kin kinship tokens, um, or you've got the spider, which lets you discard your hand, which is important because when you just talked about calling the fairies, mm -hmm. you draw up to five. Mm -hmm. So if you already have cards in your hand, you won't necessarily get to draw through all. Or if you're looking for a specific card or what you have in your hand doesn't accomplish what you're trying to do, yeah. that's a really nice one to let you get rid of all your cards and then you can go back and you can draw them on the next turn. Absolutely. Uh, so I think we're just going to dive in here because again, you're going to get to see the game played out. Oh, what's that? Uh, we're going to tell you how the game ends. Oh so, yeah, good idea. Four different things. Um, if you cannot refill the cards, if you cannot refill the tile, if all five of these little house tokens are taken and they are taken, if there are 10, a person has 10 majority 
um, ten cubes kinship. in it. Ten yep. kinship, yes. So once you get ten in the nary, you can take it. You can still add to that because that's a scoring mechanism, but once all five of those are taken, or if any one player runs out of their kinship cubes, tokens. Yeah, four ways to end the game. Yep. Uh, which is very similar to a lot of the Glenn's games. There's multiple ways to end games on a lot of a lot of this stuff. Uh, so without further ado, Lizzie, you are the first player. So I should give you this beautiful fairy. So pretty. And uh, you'll get to pick the first uh, She's first good. action. Okay. Um, I am going to build a garden, and I am going to take the frog. Oh, I am absolutely shocked. You, that did, you did not did that. see that coming, did you? I did not. Absolutely did not see that coming. And there are things on our board that if you lay on top of them, you're going to get them. So two points, placing a kinship cube, drawing a card. Uh, so when you keep track of your points, uh, you'll notice on your garden uh, board, it goes 1 to 10 and then it goes down mm -hmm. from there to 90. So you, your little fairy is going to move through your garden, prancing about as they travel through this beautiful land. Uh, and you'll keep score that way. So I've scored two points, so I will just go ahead and mark that on my uh, game board. And, oh, Lizzie's already got a kinship in there. Right I on. I do. Good deal. Okay, that's that's my turn. Mm -hmm. I am going to befriend a fairy. And I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab the dwarf. Mm -hmm. So the dwarf is going to let me play two kinship into the earth. So most of the cards will have a specific area that they want you to try to influence. Or I can place one kinship anywhere, which is nice for some flexibility. I'm going to take a Fuka, I believe is how you pronounce it. Fuka? Is that a point per path, path tile? Okay. Solid. Very nice. That is like a weird... Uh, looks like a vampire rat, bunny. Rat. Or yeah, bunny... That's what it looks like. Bunny bat. A batty? I've, n I've not heard of that before. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, um, yeah, magical creatures. Okay. All right, and it's your turn. Did you play a card? Did you want to play a card? <coughs> oh, excuse me. I have no cards to play. Remember, we don't start with them in our hand. All oh, right. We have to call the fairies to our aid. Well, this would go in my. Nope, nope, it goes in your discard pile. I mean, this is. Sure. You if would I'm draw going it. to. Oh, you're going to do that. All right, we're drawing. I'm going to draw so a card. We call so the fairies. You can draw up to five. You start with four. So and I would add the card that I got, draw five. <laughs> I wonder what I drew. <laughs> um, and then since I, it was my turn and I now have stuff in my hand. Now, with sequencing, I do want to mention, you can play a card before or after taking your action. So in this case, Lizzie, you would have the opportunity to go ahead and play a card. Um, I think I'm going to do a box. So place one kinship token in two different areas. Okay. So Just I will... fill that off because I'd love for everybody to get a chance to see that card. There's your fox. I'm just gonna go Earth Trolls, and I already had one in the face. All right, and then that goes to your discard pile. It's gonna be over here to the right that you can't see. Uh, um, I am going to choose. Oh, you know what? We need to put two tiles out here after oh, every yeah. time we do build garden, we get to refill yeah, that. My bad. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, befriend a fairy again. Uh, now you can continue to go back, like. You can choose the same action that your opponent chose last turn. There's no rules about having to go to a new location. So uh, if Lizzie wanted to also go there on her turn, she could. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to play the dwarf. Again, I showed that off earlier, we'll show you there. I'm gonna place two in the earth. Uh, that's his special power. And then I'm going to a friend and I am going to... Hmm. So let's place mm -hmm. a kinship token in any area or remove two from the nature. Place a kinship in any area or remove one from the same area. I'm going to take the red cap. So the red cap looks pretty interesting. Um, again, this game does have um, conflict on the area majority portion. So the red cap take... specifically is going to let me remove my opponent's influence. Taking the Kelpie. Okay, so then discard and refill that. And yeah. I played my card for the turn, so it'll be back to you. I am going to build a garden. I'm going to take this, place it here. So it's going to give me two points, and I get to place one. Oh, good. Look how nice you were. You gave me this beautiful little three piece garden. You're welcome. And then um, I'm also going to well, play this frog, which so just is going to let me place a kinship. So I might as well go ahead and do that. Um, 
Let's go to okay. nature. I'm going to... What do we got after our cards? Ooh, okay, that's what I want. I'm befriending a fairy, and uh, on my for my action for the turn, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to play my card for the turn, which says when drafting a card, put it into my hand, then choose my action to befriend, and this unicorn is going to go into my hand. So when I use the unicorn, I discard three and draw up to five. Wow. Yeah. And that goes to my hand. What I'm going to do, um, I'll place one kinship token in any area and remove an opponent's token from this. From a different area. Well, I don't like that. Well, you left it for me, so... Well, I wanted the unicorn. It's fine. I like the options the unicorn gives me. I'm gonna go ahead and just do gain some trust. Okay. You gonna play a card before or after? I do after. So I'm gonna place it in the Fae. And then uh, I'm gonna place my Fuga, it one east. point per path tile in my garden. I just have one, so. Now, as as we build up the area majority here, I think it's important to kind of talk about what's happening. So at the end of the game, whoever has the most influence in the area is going to score a point for every kinship that's there, including your opponents. Mm -hmm. The second player is going to score points for their color. Mm -hmm. So if I were to win the nature area, I get 15 points. Let's say I had 10 and, I had five. and you had five, I would score 15 and Lizzie would I score five. five. So that's kind of what's happening here with this area majority and why it's really important to watch what your opponents are doing and uh, not necessarily let them run away with it. But, but there might be times ahead, where you're just like, you might be like, you know what? I don't want to add more because that's just going to give them more points exactly. and I'm only going to get like three out of that. So exactly. uh, I'm going to build garden. I'm going to take this one. Ooh, 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 and really we're gonna go here to get a kinship. Uh -huh. And I'm going to play my unicorn to discard three and draw five. Uh -huh. And it's your turn. Oh, we need a new garden tiles out. Please. Uh -oh. Do they get stuck together? I know. <laughs> the prototype, right? Yes. These are very thin. I don't know what they printed it on. This is very interesting. Yeah, it's like a really it. interesting material, right? Yeah. I will... No, I'm going to gain trust again. Gaining trust. So I am going to go in the earth. Okay. Then I'm going to play my elf. So place one kinship token in any area and remove one opponent's token from a different from a area. different. So I'm going to put one in the trolls. And then remove me and from there. The nice. Did you put one out? Um, no. Waiting you might want to do that. I'll go to the nature area. Let's... Hmm. What do we got for befriending? Score victory point for Faye. Draw. Oh, I love the nymph. We're going to befriend. Uh, so I'm going to grab the nymph. This, when you play it, allows you to draw two extra tiles from the bag for the garden offering, and then choose out of those four. Really, really great card. And, and then I'm gonna play a I'm card. Gonna find one I'm me. gonna play my dwarf, which allows me to place two kinship into the earth. Okay. And then you, which one did you grab? I grabbed an elf. Oh, you grabbed another elf? Another okay. Elf, yeah. My right, turn? Fair enough, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna befriend because now there's a nymph out there. I want the nymph. No, <laughs> last game I'm I had, not I had two. Letting of them. You take all. It of was so good. No. It was so good. Horrible plan on, on my part. So uh, I'm not gonna make that mistake. I'm gonna go with the, okay. flare, the flower fairy. So um, oh, and then I have the raven. So when drafting a new card, place it directly in your hands. I'm gonna go ahead and put the nymph. So score a victory point hands. per plant in my garden. I like that one. Oh, that's pretty. All right, so refill that. Oh. Uh, let's go with... Oh, the Bogart's awesome. All right, I'm gonna play the Raven to put a card, and then I'm gonna choose to go to Befriend uh, when I draft a new card goes to my hands. So check this out, this Bogart is awesome. So I place Kinship in two different areas. I like that, it goes to my hand. 
And you have a choice between, is that a... The hob. The hob, can I see it? Yes, you may. The hob says, score a victory point for every two of your kinships in the earth. Okay. So it wants you to start looking at earth for points. Solid. And again, these are really nice little victory point engines because you're playing them throughout the game and you're growing the area majority. So um, those are great ways to kind of score those supplemental victory points, which come in really handy. Uh, and it's your turn. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card. Calling the fairies, so I just draw one. <clears throat> and then I will play my Kelpie. So place one kinship token in any area or mm -hmm. remove two from the nature area. No. Oh. Yeah, that's such a good That's decision. a tough decision. You could just remove me right out of nature. You want to hurt me or help you? I'm going to help me for now, <laughs> but I like, I really like that card. <laughs> you like that ability? I love it. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. It's pretty good. Rude. Well, maybe I am. Your turn. All right. Let's go with building garden. So we're going to go here. This is going to... Get a kinship token, which I'm going to add oh, here. No, I'm, not, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it. And then sure, I'm going to token. play the Bogart, which allows me to place one in two different areas. So one and one. Rude. And then uh, did you, oh, we got to refill this and it's your turn. Ooh, nice tiles there. That was a nice one. Those are good. I'm gonna just gain trust. I'm gonna okay. put one. Okay, and then I'm going to play Fuka, so one point per path. I have one, two, three. Three so points. I'm also going in. to gain kinship and put it into the Fae. Alright, let's go with what do we got out there? You got the Fuka, place a kinship in any one area or remove two from the Fae. Or the parry says, place a kinship in any area and move two of your kinship tokens from any one area to two different regions. Oh, that's, woo, that one's a bunch of movement. Um, okay. Hmm. I don't know if you can hear in the background, our kid has a set of like metal keys jangling. He's with the babysitter, don't worry, we didn't leave him by himself. I think I want to build garden because I like I like both of these options here. Um, and this is gonna let me draw a card. If I do that. That's tough to do that like that though. I think I'll do that. So I don't get any bonuses off that. Refill that, and I get to play card. I'm going to play the red cap, which is to place a kinship in an area and remove one from the same. Boop, boop. Ooh, nice tiles. And it's your turn. I love watching my garden come to life. Okay, I'm going to build. I really enjoy that. Because these are just too good to, oh, my goodness. to give up. I wasn't ready to use either of these yet. So... Uh, that's going to completely cut this off, though, if I place that like that. What? Let me just get this up so you guys can see what's going on here. Mm. So, and then that's such a great place. Play my frog, like which is one BP. There are some two. So I'm going to do this. Am I? I don't know. I can't read your mind. I'm going to do this. To put in the warehouse. So it's gonna give me draw a card. I'm gonna do that. Draw a card. 
Um, oh my goodness. They're all How hell the shape. so awesome shapes. I love it. Uh, oh my gosh. Did you play a card after selecting? I did. I just okay. did my frog for MVP. Frog for a victory point. A little froggy frog. Let's... A little hop along. Yeah. What? I think what I want to do here. Let's befriend. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the Puka. Uh. Can't let you have both of those. I'm going to do the Acorn Fairy. And then I'm going to play the Unicorn, which lets me discard three cards and then draw up to five. Cycling through my deck again. And it's your turn. Did you take the Fade one that lets you remove? I did not like that one. I don't know. I okay. Yeah, you did. We're gonna you took the Acorn Fairy one. Game Trust. I go in the Fae. And then I'm going to play Spider, discard all cards from my hand into the discard. I have to... I'm going to gain trust over here in the Trolls. Okay. Your turn. What are you going to do? I'm going to build Garden. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to play the Nymph, which lets me put two extra tiles here. Mm -hmm. And I get to immediately play one. And then we'll go into the placement of... So I get two this turn. What? Draw two extra tiles from the bag, then select and place a tile in your garden. And I'm also taking the tile action. I get two. You get one. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. um, is that what I want to do? I'm just going to cut that off. Ooh, is this going to work? Nope. That definitely works, but I got to be careful. Uh, you know what? I'll do that. It's gonna give me a kinship. Gotta make sure that you get a path, though. I'll get a path up there. Because uh, then I get to do this. And I'm going to do this. Like this. So, oh wow, this is a nice placement. This is gonna give me double kinship and a card draw. Real nice. Two kinship, I'm gonna go ahead and put them into the Fae. No. I'll put them in Fae. I'm going to put them in Trolls. I'm going to fight you in Trolls. And then uh, I get a card draw. And then we just need one tile to refill the market. Okay. And it'll be your turn. Okay, I'm going to draw cards. Bye. One, two, three, four, five. I am I discarded four. mine. Oh, how sad. I mean, I'm, I'm not fine. I'm not able to do anything. I'm fine. Then... You know what? I'm going to play my nymph. Draw two extra tiles from the bag, select them, play the tile. Yeah. Oh, those are great shapes. Oh no, you got the one I wanted. <laughs> it's okay. Um... Do this that also lets me draw a card. Okay. Okay. I am going to go to Helping Hand. I'm going to play two cards this turn. Uh, the first card I'm going to play is the Fuka to place two kinship into one area. And then I'm going to play my Dwarf, which lets me put two into the Earth area. I'm going to do the Acorn Fairy, um, place one trip token in any area, or remove two from the Fae area. Boo! So, get out of my Fae. Get, <laughs> get out of your face. But um, You're pretty proud of that, aren't you? I was very proud of that one, actually. Good one. Okay, um, I'm going to gain trust. So, I'm going to go here with the trolls. Yep. Oh, you have to segregate our armies? Well, I just am trying to figure out where we're at. Hang on. <laughs> and then I'm going to do my elf. So place one in any area and remove one from a different area. Boo. I'm actually going to place one here. And I will remove Boo. here. 
I hadn't done my turn yet. I just put it right back. <laughs> well, that's what happens. Uh, let's go with building a garden. I'm going to play this to discard all the cards from my hand. And I'm going to take this tile, which lets me get two victory points and a kinship. So two victory points and get a kinship token. Or, yeah. And then you also get one, so we just need one tile there. Now I need to draw cards. <laughs> well, I'm not going to help you. <laughs> I'm going to go to gain trust. So we'll go ahead and put one here. Uh -huh. And I'm going to play with the Kelpie. Place one kinship token in any area or remove two from the nature area. Boo. Oh my goodness. You have removed from nature and fey. I'm just going to give up on both of those. That is rip it, dude. All right, I am going to call fairies, draw five. Thank you. And I'm going to play my, um, I'll play my Bogart, which lets me place a kinship token in an area and remove one. Good. Okay. Yeah. Done? Yep. Okay, we're gonna gain trust. And I'm going to put one tiles, and then I'm going to put my fox. So place one kinship area in two different, two different areas. areas yeah. So we're going to do one pay, one trolls. Ugh. I'm at nine there. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's go with building garden. And then I'm going to play my Bogart, place a kinship in two different areas. And that gives me the trolls. I should have four, eight, ten. Ba, 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 ba. Oh yeah, and it lets me draw a card. Get that nice little fairy home in there. I'm not happy, Bob. Mm-hmm. It's fine, you're gonna get Fay. And uh refill the garden and it's your turn. I'm gonna do the friend of fairy. I'm gonna take this acorn fairy. Okay. And I'm going to um, play my raven when drafting a new card. Place it directly in your hand. Okay. Uh, I'll grab the satyr. Here's the satyr. New card. Haven't seen yet. So let's you again. Each of the areas has kind of a card that's going to like the dwarves are in the earth. The satyrs are in the beast area. Well, I mean, so, everything is... Yeah, everything is going to work like that. So that's that Everything part. is has a, a um, sign from one area. Let's build garden. Cover anything up? Nope. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play my flower fairy. Flower Fairy says, score a victory point for every plant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Takes me to 11 points. Woohoo. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, new garden. Yes. I can fill them while you take a turn. Okay. I'm just trying to help. I need somebody. Just kidding. Um, we're going to gain trust. Okay. So I'm going to go to the Fae. That's six, seven, eight. And then. We're gonna do um, one in kinship in any area or two in the Fae, which is gonna put me at 10. And it gives you, yep. So that's also gonna let me draw a card. Add it up to the earth area. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's go with building a garden. Man, it's gonna you're let me so draw a card. I have a plan for my garden. Okay, well then. I know what I wanna do. And then I'm gonna play the unicorn, which discards three cards and draws five. Man, that unicorn is crazy good. 
Man, is that a good card. And it's your turn. Nope, new gardens. How are we getting on that? So, like, again, um, one of the four triggers for ending the game is gardens, cards, all five we're homes. We're low-ish, but, low-ish, like, we still yeah. have several turns. Sure. So before my turn, I'm going to do the Puka. One VP per path pile. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to oh, yeah, go gain trust. And we're going to go in the nature. Is that a beast? All right. We are going to go. So I'm at three, six, seven. I'm going to gain trust, making this eight. Play my dwarf, add two to get the earth home. That was very rude. Indeed it was. And then this is also going to give me another kinship token. Got a place there. Okay, I am going... Are you done? Yes. Did you just pick gain trust? Did I put one out? Uh, no, you've not put one out. I'm actually going to move this over. Do nature. Here. Okay, I'm going to do... No. I want to leave it there. You done? Are you done? No, I'm going to actually just get two victory points. I'm going to put my fairy home over here. Because I need to connect this. Yeah, I'm good now. Okay, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to call fairies, but before I do that, I'm going to do the spider. So discard all the cards. Yep. And then draw five. So I just get one. This one comes in. And then you're going to put a card probably... No, I played a card to discard. Oh, you all. played discard, okay. So, so that I could turn. draw five. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's good. All right, I need to think through this. Pay attention, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's fine. Oh my goodness, I got three of like the basic <laughs> ones in my hand. That's so I mean, not I've helpful. I've got some of the basic ones too. No, I just hand. drew three of the basic oh, you, ones. Oh, because you just reshuffled. Because I got all of I my gotcha. cards. That um, was not helpful. Okay, just because I don't want to miss out. Let's play... Well, hold on. I'm going to play the Nymph, so add two here. Damn. I have to connect this to a path or I'm going to lose out on scoring. Well, that's so not my problem. It. Yeah, it's my problem, but I have to do it right now. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh. So this little guy is going to go right there to finish out that path. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I'm going to build Garden. And I'm going to get this uh, to go right here here to give me a kinship token. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put that kinship there. Okay. All right. It is now your turn. Okay, now we are we are fairly low. <laughs> now we're fairly low on these. Just? <laughs> All right, fair I really enough. Want... Oh, there's only two more homes, so like, I, really I mean, it's coming though. down. Oh my That's goodness, gonna you give me this and two points. Well, that's a really, I, I needed something. The way I built my path is just not perfect. And then we're gonna do place one kinship in any area and remove one from the same area. I'm gonna put here, even though you're not in there, because I just really. Don't you have to remove it though? Oh, remove one opponent's. I'm not there, so never mind. You're just, good. I mean, you're, you're not yeah. there to remove. So. Uh, can we get two tiles down? I hope there's two in there. If you can't refill the offering, the game ends. There's, okay, we okay. have two. Oh my goodness. Okay. But, I mean, I think there's only one left in the bag. Just to be aware. Uh, Are you ready to end the game? Uh, I would... I'm gonna play my Fuka to add two here. Gives me three, six, nine. You... That's just the card, or what That's just doing? my card. Gain trust, ten. And then, uh, well, what's your action? Oh, oh yeah, now it's your turn. Yep. Oh man, this is coming down. I have to think about this. I'm gonna draw a card, so I'm gonna play discard off from my hand. Draw oh, you're trying cards. to get your special cards, yeah. Oh, I get to draw up to five. I would like something other than the basic ones. Fair enough, fair enough. Um... Wow, there's a lot of stuff in those areas. Let's see what I draw. Let's see if it helps. Um, 
I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm in the position to end it. Uh, so, do this. Do I get anything from that? No. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, I do. And then I'm gonna place uh, one kinship in two different areas. So, here and here. Ah, uh, so we can't refill the offering. Immediately. All right, so let's go to our handy dandy rule book for the end of the game scoring. Play continues around the table until all five fairy, fairy one of the following occurs, uh, or any of the following. All five fairy homes have been taken and placed. There are not enough garden tiles, which is what triggered the end. Mm -hmm. uh, one player has placed all of their kinship tokens, or all cards have been taken. We got down pretty. Pretty low on the on the card deck there. I mean, it's still quite a few. All right, so the player with the most kinship tokens in each fairy folk area at the end of the game will score a point for every kinship token in that area, regardless of color. So we'll just kind of do a little circle here. So uh, three, six, ten. Over here. I get two. And I get two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So one, two, three down. Uh, over 12 here. Twelve, and I have eight. So twenty for me. And eight for me. Okay, over here you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then you get another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I get just two points. All right, and then we look at our garden. Each player will score victory points from their garden board as follows: All plant tiles that are connected to a path mm -hmm. will score a point for every square of that tile. So, for example. Um, this tile has four plants on it and it's connected to a path for mm -hmm. four points. Now, throughout this scoring, you are also going to score double points for a plant that is adjacent to a home. So, so all plant tiles, all plant tiles that are adjacent to a fairy home all? will score double. Well, no, I don't think it doubles both of them necessarily, but maybe it does. Wait, because so, that would change something. All plant tiles that are adjacent to a fairy home's tile score double. I was not aware oh, hold on. of that. A plant tile that's adjacent to more than one fairy home does not score double. So, like, I think in this case, both of those are going to score double. But, like, if a plant tile was next to two fairy homes, you wouldn't double it twice. You may we, move. What, I'm moving you, it because yeah, 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 of we, course, before, of course. we only doubled one. So, of course. That's no, that's a good place for you. Yeah. placement. So, in this case, I'm going to score one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Sixty three points. So one, two. Three and then six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. And then the player with the most victory points in the game is the winner. In case of a tie, the tied players, Button the tied player with the tied. most fairy homes. Look, just look at this little fairy home, though. Look how cute it is. That, that poor one didn't get chosen. I have 121 points. There you go. I did a great job. Look at my garden. It's true. You were Look like, at my garden. You were over there building garden. My I'm garden is crazy. so beautiful. It is. I, I love was trying to get a ends. second. Um, You're trying to get this nature one. Yeah. Yeah. But you did. You maximized that I really, did. really well. That's Only really impressive. Only I could have gotten like that up. That would have given uh, me another six. But yeah. I mean, that wouldn't have put me anywhere near you. No. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Man, Yours we were able really to put nice so too. many cubes out. How did you do that? Um, because some of mine let me put two in an area. I know. I did super well. You did super well. <laughs> High five. It was a good game. It was a good game. So this is currently live on Kickstarter. Yeah. You can go take a look at it in the description below. We've got a link to that campaign. Uh, again, if this looks like something that's interesting to you, if you think that this is a game that's right up your alley, mm -hmm. um, hopefully this playthrough helped you. Yep, uh, super fun, very easy to learn, fast turns, everyone's involved. Some of my favorite things. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. See ya.